Hi, good morning and welcome to Smart Parts. We are um, gonna do some tutorials today on some chainmail bracelets. Terry's gonna tell us a little bit about that. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. All right, we're gonna do some fun stuff because I am so in love with these chainmail kits. They are put together by a company, It's everything is US made, and it's called We've Got Mail. Oh, how cute. Which is a clever name. <laughs> And they're these gorgeous feminine bracelets that you can make with um, jump rings and beads and and it kind of gets away from the traditional stereotype of uh, chainmail being very medieval and masculine and clunky and it's it, she's toned it down to where it's very feminine and, and lovely and they're so easy to do they come with here's the kit for the box chain stitch they come with full color instructions that are so easy to read and everything is color coded here and you've got all the right parts to make is you know a, a bracelet of different lengths so you just make it a little shorter if your wrist is smaller and a little longer if your wrist is larger and it works out really nicely and lots and lots of different stitches you can see and lovely packaging it's so cute with the castle. i love this one with the rainbow oh, and neat. it's just very fun and most of these are beginner level and can be completed in an hour or three so it kind of depends on how quickly you work but it's a very zen project and you can just do a little bit here and there and you can stop and start and, and whatever but um, I want to go over the tools that we use they're pretty simple and pretty inexpensive um, the first one I want to show you is a tool we absolutely do not use and a lot of people will try to pick this up and use it but I want to explain why with this round tip in here when you hold a jump ring with it, it puts a lot of pressure on that one little spot in the jump ring and your jump rings aren't really held securely and it typically leaves a little dent in your jump ring. So this is very common for people to pick up and we try not to use those. What I want to see you use is a very, it's called chain nose pliers, a very flat inside surface that when it holds the jump ring, it holds it securely, okay? And it spreads the pressure on the jump ring out so that you don't end up uh, marring your metal or making any kind of a divot or a dent in your metal, okay? So here's another kind of tool. You can see this one, it's a very fine um, nose right here, and so you can get into to smaller spaces when you're really trying to dig in with your jump rings and get them connected tightly. Then you've got nylon tips, which are really great if you're using uh, precious metals, um, sterling silver, gold, things that are a little softer and you definitely don't wanna leave any marks. So they'll do the same thing. Um, they just protect your metal with, the, uh, with the, the nylon tips. Then we have bent nose pliers. These are Weber's brand, which as far as I'm concerned are the best on the market. Um, I love them. I have a whole set for myself that I use personally and then professionally. This is what I always recommend if you want to really treat yourself to some really nice tools. They're a little more expensive, but they're very, very finely ground and uh, really smooth. But bent nose pliers are helpful if you have uh, wrist issues and, and you don't want it, you want a more ergonomic feel to your, to your work. So anyway so what I want to show you is we're going to do the very easy one which is the shaggy loops bracelet this is what it's going to look like when we're done this is a very spring color palette that I've done here it took me about an hour hour and a half to make that it really it doesn't take very long but we're going to use this very autumn looking palette kind of a teal and and browns and you can really use any color scheme that you want and your kit will come with everything you need to make this but once you have your instruction kit, you can make as many as you want to with any color scheme. You just buy new jump rings and new beads. So it's very inexpensive. Jump rings are cheap and beads are cheap. So you can make a, a bracelet for just really not that much money. So what I've done here is I started with an S clasp, added a jump ring here and a jump ring here and some little tiny beads, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to pick up the larger jump ring now, there's a way to always open your jump rings, and people get confused on this. They'll take these sometimes, and they'll try to open them by spreading them out like this, and then you'll never, ever, ever get the jump ring back around again. It just won't go. So you pretty much ruined your jump ring. So you want to always open it using two sets of pliers. goes front and back, okay? And then when you put it back, it just goes nice and flush right up against itself, okay? Front and back like that, okay? So we're gonna open this jump ring, and we're gonna pick up 
two of these little guys. It doesn't even matter which colors you use. And then we're just gonna slip it right on to the next, the previous jump ring that we had in place. We're just gonna split it right there. Okay. So you would preset some of the smaller jump rings? Yeah, the beads. which is so easy. So I just take a little six millimeter jump ring, open it up, just take a little bead, slide it on there, close it up, super easy. And then you've got, you can make up all of these. You can put this color scheme, you can do an ombre effect if you want. I like just mixing them up randomly, but it's whatever style you like, it's your bracelet. So you just open up another one, pick up two, and then you just add it to the previous jump ring that you had there. And because you're not really sewing anything, you don't have to worry about needles you, or, or leaving the project. It's not going to fall apart on you. This is just, it's going to be nice and stable. So if you want to put all this stuff back in a bag and come back to it two weeks from now, you can. You just do a little bit more. You can do it while you're watching television. It's, it's a really easy project to do. If you guys have any questions for Terry, well, she's going to do a couple more, but um, if you guys have any questions for her, just shout them out. We can see them on the screen. Okay. Rinse and repeat over mm -hmm. and over again. You can see we've already got an inch done and it took just a few minutes, so it yeah. doesn't take long. Okay, super right. easy. That's so great. Yeah, and these jump rings are, you can get jump rings that are very inexpensive and all over the place. These are, uh, they have a copper base, so they're a little bit softer and easier to open. You don't have to work quite so hard on them. This whole kit, this is all, all made in Ada, Minnesota by a lovely woman who invented this whole system and copyrighted it, and it's they're beautiful. And we've been really happy, and there are lots and lots and lots of choices as far as different stitches, different patterns, um, there's box chain and some, this is a more intermediate one, but it comes in all the birthstone colors, which is really pretty. Oh, how pretty. It's called Spine of the Centipede. Anyway, I just, I am really crazy about this because it's, it's fairly easy to teach and fairly easy to do. And, um, it always comes out with really great results. So if anybody has any questions, let me know.